So how do you change what they say? Uh, I want to change you get, you get to a You get to a certain friendship level, level with them. Like you have to make friends with them. And then once oh. you make friends with them, then they'll get so to a point. Play, I thought you complained to Isabel about what they say and then you um, Yeah, it. but that, that does like an auto change. So it doesn't like, it doesn't give you the option to be like, Oh, okay. But. Right. Well, anyway, as long as I can get it away from airmail, I'll be happy. What's wrong with airmail? It's just so weird. You seem so Who's triggered by it. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got my lot saying things like Godzilla and butts and oh what's the yeah, other one? That's, cheers drive. That's, that's that makes cute. No sense. Cheers drive. Yeah, cheers drive. Well, I thought a bit of local. Oh, his, his leaf. Local Oof, flavor. Sorry, Don't water leaf. Water leaf. Don't water <laughs> leaf. Oh my god. Poor leaf. All damp now. And shrubs too. Yeah, yeah. I know the azaleas in fashion right now or something. Well, I think because June, I, I'm sure the seasons are going to shift in June, right? So maybe the hibiscus will oh, be you've coming got, out. You got cam cam camellia. Oh, I don't think I've got those. I don't think I've got them either. I, I, I have oh. this one that I'm implying, which is like tea, tea leaf or something. Olive teas. Yeah. I haven't actually checked my shop today. What the hell do I have in my shop today? Let us see. Let us see. What is in the shop of dreams? I have. Flat screen TV. Oh. A wall mounted TV brackets 20 inches. Impressive. 8,900 bells. Bigger. 20 inches. Do you want a 20 inch flat screen TV? I kind of do. Yeah? Well, it's in my shop if you want it. Alright. Oh, where's your shop at? Oh, the clothes shop. Let's try that first. Oh, I haven't been in the clothes shop either, actually. So you can buy a ghost umbrella from Tom Nooks and uh, sorry, Nooks Cranny. And yeah, it looks I'd, like I'd never it, hor it looks horrible. What's the, what's the point in them? It's just flavour, isn't it? Flavour, flavour. Right. Um, but it looks horrible, and I don't like it. Yeah. I do not like it. It's grouse. It just looks like a weird tennis ball. Just. Plopped. If you give them like, if you give villagers like wallpaper and stuff, do they change their house? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Hmm. Oh, I have God. not tried it. Oh, oh tortoise specs. Oh yeah. Oh, is that what's in my uh, clothing Fuck. shop? I really need to buy some actual real life clothes, Duncan. I need to. <laughs> I need to buy some shorts. I got no shorts. All my shorts have been ripped, <laughs> like, and they're falling apart. So I need. I need some IRL shorts. But I also don't want to go to the shops because I'm lazy. Do it on ASOS. Yeah. Thing is, nothing ever fits me. I've got a big butt oh. and wide hips, and nothing ever fits me. Everything on ASOS is for like skinny models. Hmm. Mm. There's, there's more than that, I think. Nah. Right. Hey, to get my new look. You look very smart. Look at you. <laughs> oh. You look very it reminds me of the episode of The Inbetweeners where his girlfriend dresses him. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> and they're like, what in the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> oh my god. Right, I'm gonna have a look. They don't change the wallpaper or flooring. Oh. Mm. And they don't hang wall mount gifts. Okay. Uh, Shastik says, you look like a well dressed Thor. <laughs> Oh, sports tanks. I can buy tank tops with numbers on them. I am number one. I'm number one. I'm number, number one. one. Man. You have a shop. I hate all these items. A kiwi hat. Oh. Oh my god. Did you not see that you can have kiwi hats, Duncan? I didn't. There's, there's like, those are different fruit hats, isn't there? Yeah. I didn't realize you could get a kiwi hat. <laughs> I didn't even notice it. It looked like a brown beanie. Oh my god, it's furry and weird. <laughs> Just like kiwis. Oh my god. I do like the suspender outfit. I hate everything else that's up today. Standard. Right, I, will not buy. <gasps> I will not buy. I will not buy. What's this cost? I want to make. I'm going to. might turn my upstairs into like. Um, Oh, a film set with like a camera and like lights and stuff. Hmm, that's a cool idea. Uh, feel free to buy any of the limited edition items. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting them all. Um, if you <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. If you do, could you just drop them on the floor outside so I can touch them and they're in my catalogue and then you can. Oh, does that work? Yeah. 
Holy shit, that's clever. Yes, yes it is. Do you want this white ball or not? Little leaf, little sweet leaf. Oh. Minecraft guy in my uh, chat says that uh, they're in Wiltshire and they're fishing by the stream, uh, by the canal, oh. while while watching us. You're watching our stream whilst fishing. Watching our stream while on a stream by a stream. My God. That's streamception. That is. Magnificent. It is wonderfully hot outside, Duncan. Oh my god. I am looking longingly out of the door, just like, oh, yes. Yeah. This is my kind of weather. This is my kind of, like, I just want to go outside and just... Oh, burn me. Burn me. <laughs> burn me. Uh, wait, no, I've sold my weeds. I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention. I've already sold them. Right, what stock? What stock? I'll start, keep, I'll start keeping weeds because you need them for some recipes. Oh, I haven't seen these Camillas before. They are cool. Yeah, they're pretty. Okay, here's um, Holy crap. a wall mounted TV into 20, 20. You can't drop can't, it on the plaza. Can't drop it on the plaza. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Drop. Can I tell you the really boring saga of my week of uh, the garden umbrella? Sure. It's really boring. I warn you, it's pretty boring. But it has taken my whole week. <laughs> okay. So you know how my parents are uh, in Malaysia at the moment and stuck there until like stuff happens, until the whole yeah. COVID business is done with. Um, so I've been like obviously going over to their house, looking after the house, making everything's all right, making sure everything's all right. And I was like, they have a garden umbrella. And I don't, and I can't be bothered to spend money on getting a new one, especially because like delivery services around here are um, like taking ages at the moment. And knowing yeah. England's weather, um, it's going to be a million years before like uh, like the, like the sunlight is going to last like two days and then go. And so by exactly. the time by, by the, the time, time I get one, yeah, yeah it. there's no point. We're going to miss it. No point. Um, so uh, I went over to my parents and I was like, "Mom, can I steal your garden umbrella?" And she was like, "Fine." So we drove over. You know, I, I took advantage of a bathtub as well because, like, she's got a bathtub. So um, <laughs> I don't have a bathtub, I was shouting. So I had a bath. And then we came back. And then halfway back, I was like, we left the umbrella. We left the umbrella. So we had to Aww. turn around, go back and get the umbrella. It was locked up in a garden shed. And then we came home. Um, and then the next day, I went to go set up the umbrella in the garden. I warn you, this is a very boring story. Um, have you, you done could, these, by the yeah, way? Yeah. Um, and then I put the umbrella up. Pole's missing. Poles, poles missing in the in the. Oh bloody hell! So, so I had the top bit, but I didn't have the bottom bit. So um, I was like, oh, screw this. So we waited until like lunchtime. Ted was on lunchtime, and then we went back to my parents' house, tried to find the pole, pulled out what we thought was the pole, took it home. On the way home, my dad texted me and went, "What silver pole are you going on about?" And I was <laughs> like, "Now my dad is a master troll." So I was like, "Either we're wrong, or he's." He's a master troll. We were wrong, Duncan. It was the wrong pole entirely. Oh. So, uh, screw that. So, Ted went back in the evening again while I was streaming Curse Strad and finally found the pole. It was hidden in the shed, like hidden behind a piece of wood. Again, story, very boring. Um, came back in the evening. Um, and then, yeah, so now I actually finally have an umbrella up in my garden that I can go sit outside and do some writing outside. Nice. And that is the end of that story. But yeah, in the end, we had to visit my parents' house like, what, three times? Four times? <laughs> within 24 hours? So, brilliant. <laughs> well, I haven't done it, gone anywhere for months. Well, you don't. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got a car. But. Not, you know, where am I going to go? That I'm allowed to go. Well, if that guy can drive up to Durham, we can drive where the hell we yeah, want. We can't really, <laughs> can he? No, no, I'm being facetious. Well, that whole thing is just so it's just, so, just, so, ugh, just so so it. Yeah, yes. yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I've been driving around to the grocery stores and things like that. And yeah. uh, driving. Yeah, over. I drive to like Sainsbury's once a week. That's yeah, that's it. my that's my trip out. That's my big day out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I, I mean, I make deliveries to me old lady. Um, you know the people I've been helping out, like getting oh, their yeah, groceries yeah. to them and stuff like that. 
So I've been I've been doing that. Um, although, so normally one of my ladies phones me up on a Thursday. She didn't phone me yesterday, so I was like, oh, maybe she doesn't need anything. Um, shot her a quick email just to make sure she she didn't need anything, and I meant to phone her this morning. And then she phoned me just as I started streaming Curse of Strahd, so I was like, oh, damn it, I can't, like, you know, I can't exactly just pick up in the middle of the stream. Mm. Um, and then she phoned me again this morning, and I was like, oh, are you all right? She was like, yeah, I'm in hospital. Oh, no. I was like, oh, um, okay. Do you need anything? <laughs> um, no, but what uh, what happens is it uh, turns out she had uh, chest pains yesterday, and she was, um, I think it's been diagnosed as angina, an an angina right. attack. So they sent uh, an ambulance to go get her just in case. So she was in hospital overnight. But she phoned me for this morning. She's like, now don't worry, everything's okay. Like, it's gonna be fine. Um, and I was just like mildly freaking out, being like, do you, do you, need, like, do you need to come home? Like, do you need a, a, me to pick you up? And like, but she was just <laughs> doing that typical thing of like being, no, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, hospital is fine. Um, so yeah. And she's like, don't worry about getting me anything this week. And I'm like, what? You just got out of the hospital! Like, surely... Doesn't she need anything? <laughs> yeah. If she's in hospital, she gets fed and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know you could go this high, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. You can't go all the way to the top. It won't let you climb that last bit. Oh. It's a but bummer. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. Um, we also, we also uh, saved another pensioner. <laughs> Saved. <laughs> so when we drove to hers last week to do our groceries and, and drop off the groceries, right? I noticed like on the street corner near hers, this old guy was leaning up against a wall and I was like, that's not a good lean. Like, that's just not, that's not, a good, not lean. a good lean. That's not a kind of like, I'm having a break because like, you know, I'm tired lean or like I've had a bit too many pints lean. It was like a, this is not a good lean. And I saw that he had blood like pouring from his nose. Oh, um, fuck. So we kind of pulled up and I was like, do you need any help? Do you need any help? And um, he'd fallen over and cut his nose on the pavement. Oh so he was just Ooh. covered in blood, like absolutely gushing blood from his nose. Poor guy. Um, so bundled him into the car, into the back of the car. And we had some face masks and everything. So it was all safe, as safe as could be. And um, he was definitely like, he was in shock, like absolutely in shock. Um, and we managed to figure out where he lived. Turns out he lived quite near um, the woman that I do deliveries for. So right. we dropped him off home and he was like, oh no, I was like, do you need any help? Do you need us to come in and help you, like clean you up, take you to the hospital or anything like that? He's like, no, 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 my wife is in, like my wife. So I was like, okay, well, at least he's not living on his own. Um, and he, off he tossed it. We waited for a little bit just to check that like, you know, no one was coming out or anything like that. Um, but yeah, like I think because it was his nose, right? And nose wounds bleed quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he. It was just like it was really like whoa. <laughs> um, yeah, when you get like hit in the nose, and it just starts yeah, pouring yeah. out, and you're like ah. I felt so Especially it sorry doesn't for really him. hurt that much, and yet yeah, yeah. Like, and I think that's the thing because he was in shock. I don't think he yeah. realised quite how bad it was. Um, but yeah, um, so, and, and then I was like, at the end of the day, I was like, Ted, I think I want to go back and just like knock on the door and make sure he's like, that's not very British, Kim. It's not very British. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to be a bother. You don't, you don't want to be a bother and bother them. So I stuck a note through their door with my contact details and they've emailed me since and they're all fine. Like apparently he's got a laceration on his nose and he's a bit sore. Um, so he actually just, yeah, his nose actually cut rather than yeah, like a so nose Yeah, so he cut like, like right, right across nose. the nose and then right. like, yeah, it just, it just like cut his whole nose up. So apparently he stripped the skin off um, his nose. Um, but he didn't need to go to the doctors or anything like that. His wife cleaned him up and he's just like having a sulk at home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and they, they were like, yeah. We were, we were wondering how to find you because we weren't sure, like, you know, we wanted to thank you, but we weren't sure how to find you. We we're going to stick a, a notice in the local newspaper. And I was like, that's very sweet. I don't... I don't oh, my it. God. <laughs> I don't get the local newspaper. <laughs> um, but they've invited us for a cup of tea uh, when, this is all, when this is all blown over. They've, they've invited us for a cup of tea. Bless them. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's going to be my... Uh, <laughs> You're like, so, yeah, you're like freaking fourth emergency service. I know. Basically, I'm spending this. Uh, I'm spending this lo lockdown. <laughs> you ring nine nine nine. Yeah. Like, do you don't... want ambulance, fire, police, or Kim? I'm, I know. If you ring that IT crowd number, <laughs> like that really long <laughs> one, you get me. 
<laughs> but yeah, so it turns out like when lockdown is over, when when everything's going all right, like I've got a lot of old people to go around their houses because one of the yeah. other ladies wants me to have me over for dinner. These guys want me over for a cup of tea. So I'm going to be hanging out with all these like, pensioners. <laughs> Just full of cups of tea. Oh, God. But yeah, but seriously though, like I was thinking about this and I was like, old people are my kryptonite, like old people in distress are my kryptonite. I can't not help. I have to help. Um, like, and I get really emotional about it. I get really like, I must help them. You need help. I must help you. Um, they're like, fine, leave me alone. Yeah, they're like, no, I don't need anything. I'm like, get in the car. <laughs> get in the car. Get in the car. <laughs> I'm taking you home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go home. Get in the car. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> oh, right, my I'm gonna God. Start, I'm going to try and make my, my porn studio. I mean, f what? My film studio. I beg your pardon, sir. Film studio. <laughs> film studio. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start with a... I don't have a couch. Oh, my God. That's like step one. I've failed already. Have you been catching many bugs and fish in your thingy? Um, not really. I've kind of stopped bothering with those. Yeah. Well... So, that's getting there. Have you done the um, stamp rally as well? I did it once. Okay. Do I need to do it again? No, I'm doing it again though, just because. I felt like the the reward was pretty pretty lame. Oh yeah, I got flies now. I've got a whole jar of flies in my um. Oh, I got flies thingy. and ants. Oh, look at them. That's what oh yeah, the ants. The ants are crawling up to the flies. Things by accident. <laughs> But now my laboratory has a weird, like, Helix DNA model. Hey, Duncan, I had a question the other day. Uh, when are we going to make Flux Buddies 5? Um... Yep. <laughs> I, don't think you, I don't think you're really interested in Minecraft, are you, at the moment? That about, that about sums it up! Yeah. I mean, technically, is this not Flux Buddies 5? No. Us half assedly making things, forgetting what we're doing, talking about crap. Oh, a shaggy rug. Perfect. Exactly, there you go. For shagging. Flux Crossing's new buddies. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like, I'll be, ooh, nah, I, don't, I think it's pretty hard to make a story in Animal Crossing. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, that said, there's that, like, what's it? That person who made, like, really cool movie trailers, but that's just movie trailers. Yeah. That's different, though, isn't it? Oh, isn't it? Man. Sorry, I haven't been in my fossil area since I've kind of maxed out on fossils, and it looks amazing. Holy crap! I don't have any tables. Is there anything? Is there anything interesting and new in Minecraft? Isn't like Minecraft Dungeons coming out or something? What is that? That's already. Is it's, it already out? I think so. It was people were playing yesterday. I haven't played it yet. It's what like is it? Diablo meets Minecraft. It's oh, not okay. really anything to do with Minecraft. So it's just like <laughs> quest mode, not like. Yeah. It's. It's. Yeah. It's different. Different game entirely. Okay. Any any new mods? Any fun mods? Yeah, I've been playing around with a mod called Create, which is like um it's it's uses like rotational uh power for, to do everything. So you have like a windmill or um you know, like a a, a, a generator which create like turns a, a wheel and then you use like cogs and like belts and okay. shafts and stuff to like move the power around and like you can use cog to like step up and down the speed and that turn other stuff. It's pretty fun actually. Yeah. yeah, you can make like you can like attach it to like a rope lift, so you can like have lift that go up and down. You can attach it to like um, different machines that like spin and. That sounds whir really interesting, actually. That sounds good. a lot more interesting than some of the other mods that we've been doing. Yeah, it's a really good mod. Um, it reminds me of like you remember that mod in like what was it, Fox Buddies Three, when we had the Chocobo Farm and the dinosaurs and all that, and um, where we really started ramping it up with Larnable. Um, yeah. And we made what was it, the Archimedes screw? Like I just I just love I like mods that like do real physics and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, this is very much that. Like it's it's very like kind of realistic in that way. Yeah. You have a you have a water wheel and you, yeah, you just, like and then like you have the stress of the machines, so each machine you add like adds stress and if you have too much stress it like the whole thing seizes ah. up so you're, like Okay. And you can slow it down to like make get less stress and stuff. It's, it's just really clever. Like yeah. it, it all works like as you'd expect. It's like I want to turn this thing over here, so, and then you just put like a couple of gearboxes in, and some cogs and shafts and belts, and you're like, well, that worked. Cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that sounds that sounds interesting to me. I'm interested in that. 
What's the name mm. of it? Create. It's really hard to Google because you type in create Minecraft, Minecraft create, mod, yeah. and it just te like there's loads of tutorials on how to make mods. Right. Yeah. Very hard to find anything out about it. There's a couple of YouTube channels that cover it quite well, though. Just... Right. Okay. Not as well as I'd hoped. There's basically I mean, there's stuff I want to do, and I just find it very hard to like look up. Uh, Kenamono the first uh, recommends mine colonies for Minecraft 1.15.2. Yeah, it's kind of fun. It's also a bit of a pain in the back, pain in the ass. Yeah. It kind of breaks all the time, especially uh, in multiplayer. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I have a new mm. fish in my deep sea uh, module. Oh. Mm. All right. Store some stuff, and then. But yeah, look, I've got a barrel fish that has, you know, it's that one that has a translucent. Oh yeah. Head, and then you can see it's like brains, just like. I like burp. those. They're weird. Burp. Burp. There he is, just floating around. Just being, I'm a bear of fish. I'm a bear of fish. I'm Woo. a fish. Woo. Let's go to the Woo. shop. Uh, Shastik says, in Minecraft, the ocean like has stuff now, like coral reefs and dolphins that you can swim with and turtles. Sadly, you cannot yeah. turn the seaweed into sushi yet. Ooh. Can't you? It's probably more than you. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of underwater stuff now. Pam's Harvest Cross has sushi, I think, if I remember. Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing? Oh, my Vaguely. god. I mean, even if we did, like, Minecraft again, Phil. like... I don't know. Would we do Flux Bunnies? <laughs> maybe. I think we'd maybe give it a couple of years and see how the mod, mod uh, scene looks. Yeah. What are my villagers doing? They're all running around with sticks. Aw, are they just, like, playing, um... What should we call it? Playing Naruto? I know. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Naruto-ing. Naruto-ing around. <laughs> Brilliant. What the heck? They're having fun. They're being youthful and childlike. <laughs> They're playing stick, apparently. It's where you run around with a chick, a, a, a chick, a stick. The stick. That's the, that's the whole game. Well, don't you remember when you were a kid and that's what games were? Just like I got These stick. Are fully grown adults with their own houses. I got a stick. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I got a stick. Woo! <laughs> Is Chrissy gonna join in? Oh, she's getting a stick out too. Oh my god. <laughs> This is so weird! <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I, can't, I can't really do much on my island now because I've, I've saved just enough money to buy a full stack of turnips mm -hmm. on Sunday. Okay. So I don't, I can't like buy any more like inclines or bridges or move any more houses. So I'm kind of like a bit stuck. You've, you've until... got the money bug. You've got the like turnip, the nip bug. Well, you go though. Like, there's no other way to really make money in this game. Like. To the extent of the amount you actually need to do these things. I don't know. I've like, managed to need, do all I of my stuff. I like spent like 1.2 million. I managed to do all of my stuff and um, didn't really break my bank. Like I've managed it without going mental. It cost me half a million just moving the villagers' houses around. Yeah, I did that. I didn't really. That's a lot. I didn't really turn up it. I did a lot. Of and I built like what five more bridges? They're like 200 grand each. Like I got like... something like 10 bridges. <laughs> I know you do. I'm not saying you don't. I'm just saying like. Yeah. I, but but if, what to, I'm saying is I in didn't. Order to... I didn't rely on the turnip market to do that. I did a lot of that what? stuff just from selling like what fruit and stuff like just that. Selling fruit. All the th all the things that you keep telling me. Oh, there's no point. There's no point. I did no, all no, those I, things. Well, I, I, so I used to. I sold my all my fruit. That's how I got enough money to buy turnips in the first place. Yeah. But like, I mean, you go to the fruit grows like one. You know, every what, two or three days. But you know how earlier you were like, your your orchard is too big? I'm like, yeah, but mm. that made me a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, you do get like, a decent amount. Like, But, I mean, you get, what, like 120, 150,000 every, like, what, three days or something like that? Like, I don't know. Like... I just, I just, I, I, I ended up, my island is the state is in mostly from just, like, not really. Because I didn't really get involved in the turnips until, like, the last three weeks. Because I've been just selling them for, like, 150 and things like that. And it was only the last three weeks that I've really, like, looked out for the kind of 500. Yeah, no, sure. Um, yeah, like, prices but you, and were, stuff like that. you were still selling them for a profit, though. Mm. But I wasn't buying like, loads. I wasn't buying loads. Like maybe like nine stacks. Like I wasn't. Right. I wasn't well, I guess like, the thing is, I only had entry. this terraforming unlock for like a week and a half. Too. Yeah. So like, and I want to. I want to do like now. I want to do things. I want to yeah, move yeah. all the houses in one go. And I, yeah. I guess because I, I did like, it more gradually. I did it like I need, more. I need, I need, yeah, I need to catch yeah. up. I'm playing catch up, and it costs a lot to do stuff. I think that's like, the thing uh, is like I did it over time, whereas you yeah. want to do it all like in one go. Um, so yeah, I guess it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because I want to 
I'm basically playing huge catch up here. Come on, puddles, join in. Um, check out. Look, I've got the night watch. Look. Ta -da! Oh, nice. Ta -da! So that was sent to me by Philbert, who I would have thought would have oh sent me a God. fake just made out of crayons and finger paint. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Do you think he painted it? No, you can't have. Well, just because like stole. just because villagers could like make you fakes, I was like, I'm surprised that Philbert sent me an original, genuine painting and not just right. like something he'd finger painted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which no, is I put totally... these bushes. Put them down here. Totally that. Um. But yeah, very empty museum otherwise. Yeah, mine's got like one thing in that's real, maybe two. 